there's three big things that scientists can do to deliver more effective interviews with the media. The first is to simply stop after you've answered a question. A lot of scientists can easily get into lecture mode and just start going on and on and on in response to even basic questions. Uh, the downside of that is that it can be frustrating for a journalist. It can also lead you to just sort of talking about free association kind of science things related to your research, and you might accidentally wind up confusing a journalist or saying something that's just completely off base or maybe even outside your discipline. Um, so don't be afraid to just stop after you've answered a question if you think your answer is sufficient. And also trust the journalist to keep asking questions. Uh, they're really good at asking questions, right? That's part of their job. Uh, so they're not going to let a bunch of dead air happen. They are going to come back and they are going to ask you more questions. Uh, the second thing is to lead with your conclusions rather than your methods or your data quality or anything like that. For almost all the interviews that you're doing, that's what the journalists are interested in, right? They really want to know what the takeaways are from your research. They want to know what you know. They want to help convey that to their audiences. In some cases, they might really be interested in data, methods, et cetera, especially if they're a beat journalist, if they're doing some investigatory work and the data and the methods and the nitty gritty of doing the science are relevant to that work. Absolutely, you're going to be talking about that. Uh, but for the most part, you just want to lead with what you know and what you and your colleagues know in your field. Uh, you don't necessarily want to get into the weeds of how the science is done. Uh, the exception being, of course, if there are really new, interesting, cool, novel methods that you want to talk about, that might be part of the story that you want to tell. Uh, finally, don't be afraid to repeat yourself. This can feel a little bit odd for scientists, too. Uh, but, you know, think about lecturing to an undergrad audience. Um, you know, you're going to wind up repeating yourself a couple times before you get a concept across. Even your own interactions with your colleagues, you are going to wind up repeating yourself, and that's okay. And I'm going to repeat myself a little bit here, too. Uh, but, you know, when you're emphasizing the same points over and over again, that is a signal to your audience, including a journalistic audience, that's a really, really important point to you. Uh, a lot of times journalists will say like, okay, yeah, I get it. You know, I understand that that's an important point. Uh, and of course, as with any advice, don't go overboard with it. Don't feel like you have to be a robot or a broken record with this sort of thing. But don't be afraid to emphasize and reemphasize what you know to make sure that that doesn't get lost in the story.